Hello guys, welcome to the second part of this tutorial on how to install Muscle in a Linux environment. In the first part of this video, which you can find right up there, or using the link in the description box below. In that video, I showed you how to use Muscle by downloading the binary file and setting a path to it on your system. In this second part, we are going to use Anaconda to install Muscle. Therefore, you need to make sure you have installed Anaconda on your system so that you can follow this tutorial. I have a video that shows you how to install Anaconda in a Linux environment. So you can watch that by clicking the link right up there or using the link in the description box. Now let's get started. After installing Anaconda, the next thing to do is to add your channels. Muscle can be found in the Bioconda channel. So we are going to add the Bioconda channel. Let me show you how. We say Conda config add channels. And you indicate the channel name, which is Bioconda. So it has been added. You can confirm the channel list by issuing this command Conda config show channels. So there we have it. It has been added for us. The default channel comes packaged with Python, so you don't have to worry about that. After you have added your channels, you can now install Muscle. We are going to install Muscle using two approaches. The first approach, we are going to install Muscle in an existing environment. This means that we are going to first create the environment and then install Muscle in that environment. So this is how we do it. We will first create the environment. So we say conda create n and we indicate the environment name. Let's just say alignment. Now this particular approach is useful if you have a project or a pipeline which will include several tools. Okay, so having an appropriate name for it will enable you to install different tools and then easily use them. So this is how we do it for the creation of the environment. So we hit enter. We confirm. Now it's done. Let me clear the screen first. We can check and confirm that the environment has been created by displaying them. So we see Honda env list. It will show all your environments for you. So there we have it, our environments. And then this is where it can be found. The base environment also comes with Conda, so you don't have to worry about that. So now we have our environment created. That means we have an existing environment. So this is how we install Muscle in that environment. We see Conda install. That's N. That means we are going to input an environment name. And our environment name is alignment. Then we indicate the channel, the C, by Conda. That is the channel from which Muscle will be installed. And then we indicate the software name, in this case, Muscle. So this is how we do it. Okay. If you are going to use this approach, you need to make sure you have the environment 
already existing. Now let's execute it. Let's confirm. Now it has been done. Let's clear the screen first. In order for you to use Muscle in this environment, you need to first activate the environment. So let's activate it. We say Conda activate. Alignment. Because that is our environment name. Please note that in older versions of Conda, this command might slightly change. So we look for it in the documentation. Now let's execute this line. When you have activated it, you have the environment name also appearing on the prompt. So now we can test muscle. So let's type muscle. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so the first approach has been successful. Let's clear the screen. Before we look at the second approach, let's deactivate the environment. So we say Conda deactivate. Okay, so we have deactivated it, and that is why you no longer see the environment name on this side. Now, in the second approach, we create the environment and at the same time install muscle. This is how we do it. We say conda creates n and the environment's name. Let's say alignment 2. You can also use any name that you want. Once you have this, then you add your software, in this case, Muscle. Then you execute it. Please note that using this approach, you can also install as many tools as you want. But in our case, we only want to install Muscle, so let's execute it. Let's confirm. Now it's done. Again, if you want to use muscle in that environment, you activate it. So we say Conda activate alignment 2. So it has been activated for us. So let's test muscle. There we have it. So that one has also been successfully done. So this is how we use Anaconda to install muscle. Okay, in later videos, we will look at how to use muscle to perform sequence alignments. So until then, I'll say thanks for watching this video and see you in the next session. Bye-bye.